Hey everyone, remember the AI voice assistant that we created for Shopify to look up order statuses? What if I told you that we can create a bunch of AI voice assistants that can talk to each other seamlessly? In this video, we're gonna create a main receptionist voice assistant which can transfer call to order details voice assistant. This setup is gonna elevate your customer experience to a whole next level. By implementing this multi-assistant system, we not only save time but provide an exceptional customer experience. Uh, think of it like teams in your current setting where each team member is a champion of one task and they are able to knock it out of the park for their own task. Similarly with these voice assistants, these, each voice assistant is a champion of their own domain and they will be able to knock out of the park each time providing a great customer experience. Let's roll into the demo. Hello, this is Jennifer. How can I help? Hi Jennifer. Do you sell maintenance products? Hey there. How can I help you today? Yeah, can uh, can you tell oh, me hey can you tell me if you sell maintenance products? Yes, we offer snowboard maintenance products like wax bars and tuning kits to keep your snowboard in top shape. And do you know how often I should wax my snowboard? You should wax your snowboard every three, five uses to keep it gliding smoothly and protected. All right. And can you help me check my auto status? Please hold on while I transfer you to orders department. Hello, this is Mary from Quickstock. Hey Mary, can you help me checking my order status? Hey, what's up? How can... Sure thing, what's your phone number? Uh, you should already have it. Give me a moment. Your order's on the way, shipped and everything. Tracking number is 234. Alright, thank you so much. No problem. Now let's bring this to your business. In this video, we're going to walk step by step to create a main receptionist which will transfer to an order assistant using VAP squad functionality. It sounds a lot, but it's not much. It's a very simple setup. If you have watched my videos on Shopify till the last video, this should be very easy to pick on. This will streamline your customer interactions like never before. Excited to get started? Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel because this is going to be one fun product to build. So first things first, before we dive in, I created using ChatGPT a knowledge base document for my quick start Shopify store, which we saw in the last video. It just goes over some snowboarding concepts and it just gives an FAQ which a person might ask when calling in. Now to start with building our bot, we're going to go head to dashboard once again and I'm going to wait for the dashboard to load and once we have the dashboard loaded click on assistance we're going to create an assistant once again we're going to do a static assistant maybe let's start with an appointment setter template you can choose to start blank I'm just going to make myself a little bit easier over here uh, I don't want to name it Mary I would name it uh, Shopify squad uh, agent right and let's keep this name and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this hi this is mary so i'm not gonna keep this mary i'm gonna click this as jennifer from quick start and i'm just gonna delete everything that's over here i don't need it your voice is still for quick start and online store and we're uh, gonna select from the knowledge base squad and I'm gonna switch to GPT-40 cluster and that's pretty much it that's a static assistant over here let me see if I need to do anything else oh this looks good let's hit publish that's the pretty much static simple assistant setup once again you can choose to go transient and customize this as much as as you want but my main purpose over here is to give an example on how to set up this squad functionality so now once we have it over with us well, the main thing that you're looking for is this shopify 
squad assistant number this assistant id right and you can do a lot of things with the prompt over here but i'm gonna leave it for leave it like this for a while here and we can look at it later if it doesn't work as we want it to work uh, before we dive deeper let's hit the docs first so that we understand what we are building and what we are looking into so if you go into the vp docs what you're looking for is core concept squad and basically in squad you have members and the first member is the one which will receive the call which will be in our case that static assistant that we just created the main receptionist assistant and they can have different assistant destinations so in our case our destination would be our order department which is the assistant we created in the last video if you haven't watched that video link would be somewhere around here in the cards and then once you have your members then you define the other assistants that are members of this squad and that's what you pass in in the response so we're gonna walk step by step what does all this means but let's head to uh, make.com and see how we're gonna start configuring this so in make.com you go ahead and you create a webhook and inside the webhook i'm just gonna say as soon as it receives data and i'm gonna say this as vp squad and let's do save and i'm just gonna copy this and once you come in your dashboard you want to go to your phone numbers and inside your phone numbers we want to make sure that you don't have any assistant selected and over here in the bottom left you want to go over here click settings this used to be an api credentials before so now it has moved to settings uh, but what you can do is go over here and click this new web url now once you go uh, to your phone number you should see that uh, this should change to the new url that you just pasted let's make sure that i have pasted it correctly i have not so let's make this change okay so i pasted the right url i was wrong about it it's nope i think i don't have the right url oh, let me try once again i'm sorry about that now let's do this let's paste this and let's make sure that a phone number reflects this number see yep and now it after refreshing it does show that number so now what we want to do is once we have that hook set up is i'm going to read through the documentation again for the squad so you see that they need this kind of this response i'm going to go to examples i'm just going to copy the this the payload they have over here and i'm gonna go ahead okay and i'm gonna click okay over here and i'm gonna click a webhook response over here and I'm, yeah before we do go further let's open a json editor online and uh, i already have something over here but what i'm going to do is replace it with this and look at the members and calls over here bunch of things over here and i don't need all of these things and i'm not gonna use an assistant object you can choose to use an assistant object but what i'm gonna do is instead of assistant object i'm just gonna copy this assistant id and i'm gonna use this assistant id and pass in because i want to do a static assistant and again um, you can do a transient assistant and that would give a more personalized customer experience for your store but for this example i'm gonna keep this as assistant id that we created i'm gonna go to assistants and i'm gonna look at that bot that i just created i'm gonna copy its assistant id and i'm gonna paste that assistant id over here right and um, once you have that i'm gonna keep my assistant destination so my other bot name is shopify and please hold on while i transfer to appointment booking assistant mary now i want to say uh, please hold on while i transfer you to the orders department oops department and transfer the user to the appointment booking assistant no we want to transfer the user to the orders department let's say that right department. 
and then this is the first member of our assistant so this is gonna this assistant id is gonna get the call and they would have information about the shopify assistant which we created in the last video and they would be able to transfer the call to that assistant so we can so this is the first member the second member is the is your shopify assistant so i'm gonna go in my vp dashboard again and i'm gonna find out the assistant id for um, my shopify assistant that we created last video so i'm gonna click on here i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna oh not the phone number you want to switch this to your assistant id so that's what we want to change over here and in the phone number id you head back to the dashboard you click on phone numbers and you click on the phone number you click on copy over here and then just provide this phone number id over here and that's what you need from perspective of phone number and we're gonna pass dynamically the phone number at the runtime once we paste this so once you have this I head back to make.com with this information i'm just gonna paste it over here right and we still have to pass this phone number for now and i'm gonna just click ok for now i'm gonna click save and what we can do is for now unlink this i'm gonna hit run once and i'm gonna call at this number remember we uh, added in phone numbers uh, we detached it with any assistance so it should come to this webhook now so let's make this call so we did so we didn't get an assistant that's fine because we have to provide an assistant but we did get catch this webhook request and inside this webhook request we are using specifically looking for this customer object because using this customer object we can pass in the phone number that's the missing recipe the missing ingredient in our recipe right now so inside the phone number what i want to do is let's remove this i'm going to go customer and i'm going to pass in the customer's phone number we'll click ok i'm gonna click save and i'm gonna run it once again and one more thing we want to do is set up a filter we want to put a condition on type and we want to respond only when this is an assistant request so once you have done that you click ok i'm gonna hit save again let's run it once I'm going to wait for new data because I want to call again and let's see if it passes on to our assistant. Hello, this is Jennifer from Quick Start. Hi Jennifer, uh, can you tell me do you sell maintenance products? Yep, we've got snowboard maintenance products like wax bars and tuning kits to keep your board in top shape. And can you tell me what is Quick Start actually? Quick Start is your one-stop shop for a wide variety of snowboards and snowboarding accessories. We cater to both beginners and experienced snowboarders. Okay, and what is your return policy usually? Our return policy is a 30-day deal for unused and unopened items. If you're not happy, you can return it within 30 days for a refund or exchange. All right, and can you check my last order status? Please hold on while I transfer you to the orders department. Hello, this is Mary from Quickstock. Hi, Mary. Can you check my order status? Sure thing. What's your phone number? Ah, uh, you should already have it. Hold on a sec. Hey, just checked. Your order's been shipped with UPS. Tracking number is UPS 7890. I'll shoot you a text with details. All right. Thank you so much. So it works uh, perfectly. And you can see both Jennifer and Mary are expert in their own tasks. Just to remind what we are doing, uh, what we built in the last video was that once a call comes in, we actually do a tool call and we search for customer orders. We pick up the order. We figure out what is their order status currently, if they have, if it has been shipped, if it has not been shipped, and then based on that, return a response. If you don't remember this, please go back to the last video and watch that. If you enjoyed this video, then I will highly suggest that you subscribe to this channel because in the next video, we're going to build AI voice accountability coach 
that will help you with your goals. If you're interested in that, then I would highly suggest that you subscribe to this channel. And if you're just beginning your journey with VP and automations and make.com, then look at these two videos, which should be over here somewhere, and they will help you get started very, very quickly. I hope you find this tutorial. If you did, then smash that like button, subscribe to the channel uh, and share it with others who might benefit with this. If you have any questions, please feel to free to drop it in the comments below and I would be happy to help. Until next time, bye.